Jessica. <laughs> You're supposed to go live at 12.30, but you know a girl's got to do the hair. <laughs> We were actually just supporting Sheila Martin's uh, gem and Jennifer and I love to go there on Mondays and um, what beautiful energy to go into the church demonstration, right, Jennifer? Like, we're always so um, grateful to have Sheila. Yeah, we love Sheila. Oh, my gosh. It was so much fun. It's kind of like our Monday gig. <laughs> so, yeah, we had so much fun. So <laughs> happy to we be have here with you, Debbie. You're right. I'm so grateful for, to you. And I know we had this live scheduled last week and we're like, okay, we got to go live. We're going to go do some readings and talk about Jennifer Rose. And Jennifer, I've had the honor to know you for a couple of years now. And I know some people don't know who you are. Um, first off, welcome to Transcend with Debbie. It's a huge honor to have you here as a friend and a guest. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Debbie. I love you, girl. I love you, girl. Thank you so much. Look at here's Eva. Eva was in there with Sheila earlier too. So hello, Hi, Eva. Eva. Us girls, I got a really great reading from from Martin too, and that was. It's always nice to receive messages, right? It always feels good um, to come together in the church setting, and we're all going in with the intent to receive, whether it's a message or take um, pieces of the messages, or even the inspiration and. People don't know this, but you were actually the person who gave me the opportunity to showcase who I am as a medium. And that right there requires a very special person who is in their higher self of love to hold space for another person to showcase who they are for spirit. Um, and I want to say thank you for giving me the platform to be able to be a medium on thank for the love you. of spirit. Yeah. Thank you. And and I think that let's talk about that, right? Like, it it's so nice to have support, to have a group of, of others to elevate you, to hold space for you. And I know in our journey, there are many different places that this journey can go up and down and have waves of experiences and lessons. And, um, you know, Sheila Martin actually was my first church dam I ever did. I remember talking to a friend and I said, what does the clairvoyant reading mean? <laughs> I was like, I didn't know. I did, I did too. I did too. I had to ask, what does that mean? I was like, oh, that's mediumship. <laughs> you know what? I know what I thought. I thought, do I have to read everything only with what I see? <laughs> I'm like, because I remember taking Paul Jacobs' class, and it was really developing and unfolding the message many years ago. Mm -hmm. And when I took his course, our our project was, I only want you to read me what you see. And I was like, I feel, I know. And he's like, what do you see? I'm like, oh my gosh, not like that. But that's an example of how we are just seeing and working specifically with the clairvoyant. Right. <laughs> so I asked him, I said, what? does that mean he's like oh this is a very um older term that was a different term that was used for mediumship demonstration and so when that happened i was like oh yeah i'm ready let's go <laughs> <laughs> you know co coming in as a baby i would not have known right yeah we've learned a lot of of a lot of the uh, terms that we may not have known before you know especially because we work across the pond internationally so we've we've had a few laughs with that too of certain words that came through that had very different meanings right <laughs> oh yes no. oh yes you know my favorite is when they say ladybird is a it's lady ladybug. yeah <laughs> i love when they do that and then i know it's so cute there's also some funny ones and you know when it's really cool and i think this topic is cute because nigel you know was like it's so nice to see you ladies from across the pond us american girls and vice versa and this this connection that this beauty that we are able to connect worldwide um this is really fun can you see the comments to the side jennifer yeah i can i can see uh, jennifer mccormick's here bianca's here Rowan, Christina, hello everybody. Good to hello. see you, El Marie, Julie. Look at all beautiful friends. Yeah, I'm meeting some new people here too that I haven't met before. So that's beautiful. So hi everybody. Thanks that. for coming and joining us. You know what I love? We're both in black. We both rock the same. Like, I know. Uh, like you know, we you can't make this up when the energies align. We didn't, we, we roll we didn't like plan it. it. We did it. I know. We're just in sync. Debbie and I are very in sync today. 
<laughs> right. But that is how the alignments work, right? Isn't that how the alignments work? Um, so I just want to say one thank you for giving me the opportunity to meet Sheila and the opportunity to evolve and go into progression in different ways of my journey as a medium. Um, because it requires a special person who can hold space for an individual, especially sometimes when we don't understand the journey of spirit and how they're working with us and how the energies are coming forward, whether it's psychic or is it mediumship, is it the residual, is it psychometry, is it dreams? And oh my gosh, I'm feeling this because everything's are just simply pieces of the puzzles of us trying to work the communication between spirit and ourselves. And um, sometimes that can get overwhelming. So I'd like to say thank you, one, for being Jennifer Rose. And thank you for um, allowing me to be part of the spiritualist community. And from there, obviously, I've met some beautiful um, people that I like to call friends. And so thank you for being here today. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Debbie. And um, it's an honor to do so. And I'm just, I'm so happy the way it all worked out because we don't know back then, like how this was all going to unfold. And and you just yeah. popped in one of my platform practice circles. And I was like, she doesn't really need platform practice. She just needs opportunity. So, and I had one, I had a place to give that. So, and it, you know, we've been, you know, dear friends ever since. So it worked out so beautifully well and that you know we we both were having doors open for us at the same time and then those were able to like cross each other and and connect with each other so we were just having that experience together and then we got to know each other along the way and now it's just progressed and it's just webbed out into this beautiful community of the most heart-centered you know, spiritual practitioners, mediums, and healers that we've all been getting to connect with each other. And just what a blessing. I mean, I, it's, it's hard to believe like a couple of years ago that this is how it was all going to unfold and it just keeps getting better. So it's, it's beautiful. I agree. And I think I met you in person out here. Was it like five years ago or four yes. years ago? How long ago that yes. you were part of this so. group? What was the group called? Um, the Six Senses or something like that? Yeah, it, yeah, we were a little, um, little bit group of mediums. Mediums. We took a platform um, workshop together, and then kind of um, formed a little group. And we were doing, you know, monthly little charity demonstrations and things like that. It was giving us an opportunity to serve our community, and then just also to get more practice and to get better at it. And so I think we met in Ventura over yes. there, and that's how we first connected. Right. And I remember taking one of your in-person trance classes and I was like, I'm going, I'm going to get in there and I'm going to take this class. And I remember, I'll, I always share this and maybe for all of those that are listening, you can resonate, you know, it's all energy, it's all vibration. But for me, I just kept wanting to like get in there and like, come on, spirit, let's go, you know? <laughs> and then Michael Miles like, girl, where are you going? Why are you rubbing up? Why, like, why are you rubbing up your energy so high? He's like, just let them come to you. And I'm like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't think that was the class I was in. I know Michael did do one back then. I think that was a different one that you and I connected, but we still know each other, you know, anyways, we still cross connect. But um, I, yeah, I think we were doing healing on that one. We were doing trans healing on the one where you and I connected to as well. So but but and look at what trans mediums we've become because we both do trans healing. We both do trans speaking, you know, and we're finding our way with that. And we both do trans you know, automatic writing and po poetry as well, too. So it's like we've, right. we've come pretty far in the last five years. And so um, thank you, Jennifer. That was so kind of you. Right. <laughs> we appreciate so it, too. Spirit really has um, put us in, in a place where we are able to hold space in the way that um, they in the positions they put us in and the experiences that we set in motion. So, you know, many people in here are in the journey within and trying to hold space and, you know, doing their part to be a service. Um, you know, with all the different intents, never give up and continue to believe in thyself because every journey is different. Even when the experience that comes in that are unexpected is still part of the experience of the journey. And um, there's there's amazing growth when that happens and there's compassion, love, um, forgiveness, understanding. There's so much that comes with all the difficult parts of the journey as well. So I, I just want to say for you all who are in here, continue to believe. And thank you, Crystal. Continue to believe and also never stop evolving, you know, progressing and wanting to learn because everything 
is always um, aligned in the way that spirit is holding us in, in our um, experiences, right? It's the way we say it's all an experience. So let's do some readings, girls. Are you okay, excited? Let's do it. Are you excited? I'm excited. What? What? You know how this works. You know how we roll. So y'all, me and Jennifer Rose, we are going to do some readings and she's gonna she's the guest today so we're she i'm gonna let her pick and i follow her lead so y'all thank you for being here oh yes do you want to do cards too or do you want to just go whatever happens like we're rogue let's go girl let's go i have a card you go you i can't hear you now jen but you want to say something again the oh spirit. sorry i have my oh, box i pulled out a box yeah just, me too there we go. got muted yeah. real quick okay and i'm gonna pull these guys out too so let's see cards are always so much fun when we do lives they just are so yeah. much fun 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 so right. okay let's see where we go okay i have just have to tell you everybody who's here you have really lovely energy and it's like it's very much like a, a beautiful rainbow, but in a very deep and vibrant Ooh. kind of way it's just I like i love rainbows i i know i know but it's it's the up and it's like there's it's a rainbow but it goes it's above and below it's it's got the most beautiful essence to it too jess would love a card so let's give jess a card all right hey, jess, girl, Ooh. Jess. Jess, jess 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 i'm gonna pull the um the rose oracles for you okay. so these are quite beautiful and let's see what we get for you uh da, 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 da. Yes, you're very sparkly today. You're doing well for a Monday, you know? You know, Mondays, we're always just kind of like getting our groove back, but it, you feel actually pretty sparkly today. So good for you, I girl. I love that. You yes. Know? It's beautiful. I love that. I love that. Okay. All right. You know, as I'm as I'm doing this, I just feel like I need to talk about that there's, you know, and this will be for Jess and for everybody, there's a real theme of personal empowerment for 2024. Mm -hmm. And we're really starting to see that come into like full motion right now. Um, mm -hmm. And it's very exciting to see. So um, Jess, ooh, I got the sacred union for you. So you got a romance card, my darling. Mm -hmm. Beloved within inner and outer relationships. So this is love within you, but also love around you too. So I, that's very exciting to get that card too. Um, I do want to say that there is a falling in love with yourself. That's also in play. That feels very important to you. I get a lot of this um, beautiful kind of like, it's sky blue, but a little bit darker than that color coming in for you too, as if you're really learning how to communicate for yourself, advocate for yourself, find your mode of expression for yourself. You're very, very intuitive because I can see all of the wheels turning up here in the crown area for you too. And you're really wanting to feel more connected with spirit. Let me know if this Aww. is making sense for you, Jess, but it's really, really beautiful. I want to say, I want to fast forward as we're talking about the sacred union. I want to fast forward to like a Valentine's day. So love would be very, very important to you too. Um, mm -hmm. And it feels as if along the lines when it comes to love, there's been fluctuations and changes and throughout your different relationships which includes even friendships you have learned to become more discerning of what you want and what you don't want that works for me that doesn't work for me and you'd be becoming step by step by step because they're literally showing me the steps by step by step just more in tune with yourself and like um I want to say more discerning like that that word feels very good for you that feels more discerning and so i feel for you like there's a lot of beautiful hearts around you too so there is what i want to say love in action that's what they're saying love in action around mm -hmm. you um it feels very passionate and it feels very divinely connected very soulmate as i'm coming in there for you love too so i know that feels very important too and just do you do you understand um, there's the animal kingdom. For some reason, the veil with the animal king kingdom has been very uh, thin lately, too. So there's, as Debbie's um, dog is barking, I was seeing a cute little dog in spirit for you as well. Aww. So do you understand you've got a little little family dog in spirit? That's real cute. Um, <laughs> reminds me a little bit of Toto, but bigger. <laughs> but bigger and, cu and cuter, and bigger and cuter. No offense to Toto. <laughs> but I feel like this little dog coming in for you, too. Um, and this dog would have had, uh, what I want to say is, um, a real independent streak, a real independent streak of like wanting to do things how he wanted to do it. If that makes sense, Jess. So let me know if that's making sense for you, love. Too, but I had to give you, I had to give you this little dog. And I also need to say, I see, um, 
I see. Okay, you've got a couple of them. Okay, this one feels about, this is on the smaller end. I want to give you about like 20-ish pounds, give or take a few too, and kind of like a sandy blonde kind of color is what I'm getting. Hopefully I've got that correct. Sometimes with descriptions, they can get a little off, but that, that feels about what I'm picking up for you, love. Um, but very cute, very cuddly and independent independent and in personality as well too mm -hmm. and so you would find this funny this would be funny this would be quirky you have a lot of laughs over this dog too um, but very much coming in and wanting to lick you in the face and remind you Aww. that you know that they're still there it's so cute it's so cute i love that the animals have been coming in too there's also connection with horses for you i'm not sure if this is figure figurative or literal but i see the horses coming in for you too so it's very like wild and free that i need to give you just too so that's quite beautiful um and as i'm going forward i want to fast forward kind of like back to the hearts hey mike good to see you love i'm, I'm gonna fast forward like back to the hearts and and i just feel like your little heart of your own is just beaming and opening so there's been very much i want to say since 2021 up until now a big huge expansion heart opening that's come forward for you too this is very divinely planned by your higher self by spirit by the divine for you too. This was all meant to be. I know that this has come through with a lot of change and transformation. There, there's been some low moments, there's been some high moments, but they're telling me it actually gets better and better and better. The treasures are coming your way. So that gold that you get to when you're searching through, you know, the darkness of the dualistic reality, you're finding mm -hmm. that gold and it's going to keep getting better for you too. Um, so I love that there's so much love around you too. I want to mm -hmm. say from spirit world, there's a lot of love around you from your helpers and from your angels. Mm -hmm. Um, and I just, it's just so, so beautiful. You've got a grandmother too that comes through that leaves a little scent of perfume along the way when she comes to visit. She hands you a big bouquet of lilies. They're just so beautiful. They're like tiger lilies and some white ones, but it's mm -hmm. this huge bouquet and they're just, oh, they're so gorgeous. And it's just a symbol of love. And I almost feel refreshment in your energy. So what's lovely for you, Jess, um, what's lovely for you, Jess, is we're getting into these you know, fall and winter months will be coming up where a lot of people kind of go inward into transformation. But for you, it's a little more of it's a fresh, it's a fresh start for you right now, too. So love, love, love what I'm seeing for you, too. Um, so, so, so beautiful. I hope all of this resonates for you. And you can take that into your heart. I will leave you with the love of spirit. And thank you for letting me work Aww, with you. Oh, <laughs> yay. That was, that was so pretty. So Jess, fun. you're like on a roll, girl. You got all kinds. You got the doggies in spirit. You got transformation. Mm -hmm. You got love. You got all kinds of goodness. I, I am so everybody excited. Everybody wants this one. <laughs> she got the one everybody wants. <laughs> is that what that is? That, you got all that from that card, girl. You got skills. Let me tell you. <laughs> So let's do a roll call, y'all. Let's first off, let's put some red hearts in the comments. Let's flood the gates. Let's make sure y'all share. And shout out to Things Network for letting us rock the page every day. We've been Thank on you. here promoting Transcend with Debbie and all the different guests. You know, I really took time off for my actual Wednesday shows. And I was like, let's go live. Let's promote each other. Let's take care of each other. And every page has been so cool with us. Like we had Things Network, Derek Akora. Look at the love, y'all. Ah, outstanding. And you know, I'm just getting the song from the Gap Band. Outstanding. Girl, you knocked me out. <laughs> So like it's Monday. Let's go. I see Latoya up in here. I know people leave. I see you, Amanda. I see you, Al Marie. And shout out to Derek Akora's page. I saw Jennifer McCormick share it. Let's see who shared it. So who shared the live? Let's give them some shout outs. Let's thank see. you. Thank you. You know, I feel like I'm on a oh, there's DJ. Annie. Good. Hey, Erica. <laughs> you know what? I, I know. Remember. I remember one time many years ago before we met and I was on a radio show in the UK and they're like gave me the opportunity to be my own guest right and I was like you mean I got to change songs I remember and remember I was like I want to be putting some like what's up today y'all in the UK <laughs> Oh my God, Debbie. I don't think they want to give Debbie that much power I to change some I didn't need that coffee I had half an hour ago. Forget <laughs> you. Could you have a snack? I love you, girl. Oh my God. Can you guys just imagine us at a slumber party? Like, how what that would be like? We would get no sleep. <laughs> You mean I gotta change a song right after I do a reading and I gotta go into the mix? And I was like, I'm not ready. 
it's a lot of work to it's a lot of work to run the controls while you're running a show and doing right. all of that at the same time because you know me i run the zooms all the time it's a lot of work doing that getting the music it and the is. screens and ooh, i'm oh like click, click 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 they don't know how if you see me doing this i'm like watching the comments on my cell phone i'm on the phone here i got seven pages running y'all we're running in we're coming in hot cali girls are just coming in with the sunflowers and the sunshine and the joy and look at all the laughter y'all everyone is laughing because you know god forbid they put debbie in as a dj and do readings at the same time i'll be like i'm channeling this song you know you are the apple of my life <laughs> Oh, Stevie Wonder, we love him. <laughs> I've, okay. I've got California Dreaming coming in my head right now, too. <laughs> California, California Dream. Everybody, you've got to come to Cali and be with us in the summer when the hey. ocean is just, oh, my God, it's so beautiful here on the coast. You guys have right. to. Please, please, what, please. Hey, really my. Cool, for those that don't realize this, when we lose a loved one, they use music to connect to us. And so all the music that comes forward there's a message in that you know how many times i know when i got in my car and I, a car is a very sacred place y'all i will cry i will get emotional i will be mad i've had so that car i have to stage it after all the emotions i sat in that chair you know i'm like oh my god this chair has my impressions of like god let me put some let me put some music on and get the get the rhythm going and changing so Take time, y'all, to to listen to that because spirit even talks to you through song. And so, even though we're singing, and even though you know we're just being um, uplifting, and that's the joy of spirit and how powerful the energies can come in, right? Um, I have. Oh, look at this! Let's go here. Let's go here. I gotta put my fancy glasses on, y'all, because Miss Miss Debbie got spirit eyes sometimes. I, I like to call them spirit eyes, but I'm sure it's really my eyes. I have something or someone trying to contact me via touch in my home, so I want to answer this. Could you please do a reading to help me figure it out, Lacey Vaughn? You know, sometimes it can feel very much as if we're being felt, which caught, which the term we use impressed. So, and then there's also another term where they overshadow, or there's another over term mm -hmm. where we call melding and blending. And so what happens is when, especially as Jennifer and I, we both hold space for trance, right? Um, what happens, Lacey, is that the energy can come so close where it can feel like as if it's very much happening to us. Energy is very strong, depending on the type of paranormal energy that you're experiencing. Um, for me, you do have a woman in spirit that steps forward who feels very much uh, motherly. I feel like my chest, like my heart, I feel like my breathing, all of those are factors that come in. But I also feel that you're very sensitive to energy when it comes to paranormal. So when I tap into this energy here, I feel like it's someone that you're working with on a biz with work reasons. I felt very more like, what is that time, Jennifer, where they wear the corsets and the dress goes out and they have the perfect little hats and the gloves, whatever is that like? Do you know oh gosh. Oh, 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 oh. I can't get quite the right decade on that one. But yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. And so I feel like this is a woman in spirit that is definitely there that, you know, what I would suggest is that you ask them to come closer, take time to pause. 1950s. Thank you, Keith, for your love. Think, give yourself a time to pause to step away from trying to figure it out when all the energies are so close if you're not getting what you're needing. Thank you, Victorian. <clears throat> but what happens is be more grounded, create the link, give them an opportunity to come closer when you're not either in the investigation or in that moment of fear or um, uncertainty, really pause with it, ground it, and then sit with it and start asking questions. Um, Jennifer, I could tell that you're chiming in on her as well. What would you pick up on that with this woman? Because I definitely see her there. Yeah, um, it did feel more like a helper too that was doing a lot of the, the impressing upon too. And um, it's very exciting when this happens. So like for Debbie and I, we don't get scared of it because we're used to it. And for us, we're like, oh yeah, do it again, do it again. So it's it's actually an exciting thing when this happened, but it's also letting you know of what your clairsentient ability is, your ability to feel that presence of a touch because some other people might not sense it or be aware of it in the moment as you were. So that's a very good thing. So it's letting you know of your own abilities too. I also pick up on what I want to say is enter energetic changes 
messages that are within you and your system because of spiritual awakening. So when people go through a spiritual awakening, they're going to feel a lot of energetic change, especially as you get in those early to late stages of Kundalini awakenings, you're going to feel zaps, tingles, all kinds of little things happening. So I feel like some of that is play too, because I feel like I also need to say that for other people here so that they know that that's not, you know, not something that they really need to fear, but they'll have a lot of those energetic changes happening as well. And you feel vibrations and tingles and all kinds of weird things, but it's letting you know, getting in touch with your system. It's help, helping you get in touch with your higher self. It's helping you get in touch with spirits, helping you make you realize you're so much more in addition to your personality, which is very exciting too. Right. But everything feels very benevolent for you. And it feels very much as a kind of a nudge forward into the expansion of your awareness for yourself right. too. When you say that, I actually also am um, being nudged to remind people we also are energy. We also, um, based yeah. on our thoughts, our emotions, we amplify the energies. And so I feel for you, love, that you're very vibrant. You're very, you're electrifying. And I feel you bounce off this energy of radiance that Jennifer speaks of. So spirit is using your energy and their energy to connect to you. And so you're a little medium, babe. And I don't know if you know that or not, but congratulations. Get it, girl. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say to you. So shout out, roll call. Let's do another roll call. Who shared it? Who shared it, y'all? Who shared the live? Who followed Jennifer? Jennifer, like I absolutely adore you guys. Thank you so much for the shares. We have 10 shares on Derek Akora's page. Shout out. Let's see if they show me who they are. Let's see. And thank you for the hearts and thank you for the follows. And hey, Gabby girl from Texas. Thank you for being here, mi amor. People come in and out, Jennifer. So let's do again another roll yeah, call. Roll call. Who's okay. here? Get some follows, Jennifer. Hello, everybody. Hello, Karen. Hello, Bianca. Jennifer McCormick is still here. There's Jody. Oh, yeah, we're all here. Michaela. Hi, everybody. Hi, Lisa. Hello, Sonia. I'm trying to read without my eyeglasses on, which is pretty funny to watch me squinting. Oh, that's so much better. I can see. Oh, <laughs> and, I, don't even, I don't even know why Annie's I take still my here. off. Hey, Erica. And he's still here. Okay. You know, <laughs> shout out to the 509 people that are on Derek Akora's page that just hit and watched us. You know, like that's how fast the energy pops in here, y'all. You don't even know how we roll with the energies. You're seeing the names popping in, but I'm just looking at this and I'm always like shocked on how many people can it hit so fast. So y'all, thank you for being here. Thank you for holding space. And I wanna come to, let's see who's here and where I wanna go. Let's see, let's see. Jennifer, pick the person. You want me to pick somebody yeah, for you? And yeah, okay. pick someone for me. All right, uh, Sonia. Sonia, let's go out. back to Sonia. Yeah. Sonia, Sonia, Sonia. With like Sonia. a card. Sonia Lewis, yes, shared. This one? Yes, ma'am. And she was asking for a card too. Oh, I was over getting, on She's over on Facebook. I was getting spirit. So, okay, I'll get a card. And then I'll, if Sonia, my love, if you're here, can you also tell me if you're okay for a message from spirit world? Because I also felt someone stepping in for spirit world. Um, but I want to go ahead and Sonia, the card I got for you is celestial teacher. So this is for you, Celestial Teacher, right? And I feel like when this card comes to my awareness, it means to me what comes. Yes, thank you, Sonia. I understand that um, from what I'm being impressed on is the feeling of grief. You have journeyed and studied grief because of your own experiences. And because of your experiences, you are someone that's going to be able to teach others how to hold space for them as they go through their healing journey. I do feel a gentleman in spirit steps closer to my awareness. And I feel as this gentleman comes closer, very well-groomed, love to comb his hair. I feel very respectful. I feel like he comes in with manners. I get the sense as his energy comes closer that he just brings forward some support and love. I do feel this man would either had a heart attack or a heart condition because that was impressed upon me. I do feel the number 49 or 1949 is also significant. I also know the numbers 444 or the number 444 is very significant in a phone number. I also know that the 39 is in, put in place in an address. I also know that I have a connection to somebody here in the States. I'm assuming that you're either um, not in the area, but I just got taken to San Diego. So if you can validate some of this, that would be amazing. I do know the number April or the month of April is also coming forward. I hear the name jo uh, George, Henry, and Ford. I don't know, Ford, what's that, a Ford car? What is the Ford? <laughs> 
<laughs> so if you could understand this, my love, please let me know. So you have the ability to teach. You have amazing energy. It's like you are so open. And for me, immediately, a Holy Spirit dove just takes off. So there's something about faith. There's something in connection to spirit. There is a connection to um, all of this energy. I don't know. She's still here. Je Jennifer, do you see Yeah, that? I'm not seeing her in the comments. So Sonia, is this making sense for you, love? If you could type something in. Yeah, Debbie. let us know, girl. That was like she was just here a second ago saying yes, right she was here. open. Let's yeah. see where did you go? Where did you go? Okay. Um, let me go to the Derek's page because sometimes the the comments go away. Okay. If she's not she's yeah. not responding, sometimes, I know this. I know sometimes the comments don't always make it in because I go. Oh, back she doesn't and understand the number. She's here. She doesn't understand the numbers. I would say go to mom and I'm gonna ask you to go to mom and have her look at the numbers. I feel like you have an aunt in spirit. I don't know if you know the name Helen, but I also hear the name Helen. And as if you're asking in reference to the numbers, it's in reference to mom and an aunt. And then I also get, I uh, have to think. Thank you, Sonia. Do you understand the other information? Because that is where I wanna make sure I'm still with you. So she's here, Jennifer. Okay, yeah, she has to think. She says, I have to think. So she's trying to place everything. Right. I love how they just come in so quick, right? Fire, Mike says. This is how, yes, thank you. Woohoo! Okay. Go. Yay. So please go back to mom. Please verify that. Do you see how that works? That's insane. I love that. Okay. So I don't know why, but I, I, I definitely feel like mom's family either would have been in the country living. I do get the sense that um, I feel like I'm just in the farm. I've seen like the the grass. I see a back house. I feel like, you know, working on the on the yard. And I feel like dad um, is impressing and coming in now where I feel like I was that hard worker. I was the person that would lift the hay or had to carry things heavy. And I just feel like he is just supporting you in every possible way. Um, if you would understand this. And there's gratitude as well. Um, I do feel, you know, so I almost want to give you like John Wayne, like John Wayne is what I'm feeling like. I would have had a, a good drink and I'm watching some John Wayne and I'm in this couch and I'm kicking back and in this chair, I could see the wooded, you know, hutch behind me with all the, I feel like you have this like, hutch that has plates and drawers full of papers and pins and i feel like i'm going to the top and there's a plate in the corner and i feel like you're looking for something so dad what liked gardening thank you and i feel like your dad is like acknowledging somebody is looking for something keys and like i misplaced my keys or i misplaced my wallet so he's making me get impressed with the sense that either my mind and he loved cowboy movies thank you sonia and i feel like he's making me feel like in my mind there was a, a bit of um of uh mindfulness here where his mind would have had some would have would have experienced some um affected and i'm so sorry but he is like talking about the love that was given to him as he progressed in his illness and i do feel the support behind him whether he was in a wheelchair later in his life and i just want to say as you experience your grief and your experiences this card here is coming forward because you're going to be able to teach and hold space for others that come through their grief. And so I'm going to leave you with your father's love, acknowledgement to your mother, and an acknowledgement from spirit to know that you are the teacher. And that's how I'll leave you. And I'll leave it back to Jennifer to pick a new person so she can read. God bless. Okay. Um, that was beautiful, Debbie. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, and I can feel so much healing with that as well. Um, would anybody here, I, I normally go direct, but I'm, ju I'm just getting this image of this little girl and she's in this cute little short, like cream colored dress and she's outdoors and it's almost like I can see it on film, but the film is a little bit aged and we're watching this film of this little girl, right? And I get images of her like getting Easter eggs at Easter and putting them in her little basket and it's just very, very sweet. So I'm just feeling like there is a daughter in spirit that's coming to say hi to her mom right now who would have been watching films been watching movies um of her daughter 
when she was little like that too. This feels like she passed from an illness, cancer, something like that, this little girl too. But I feel her coming in just to bring love to mom. Like that's really why she's here. She comes to bring love to mom. Um, and there's a lot of sunshine around her too that I wanna bring forward. Um, her hair is kind of in between blonde and brown. So it's not super, super light. It's kind of like that sandy kind of color as she's showing me forward. But it does feel like the hair would have changed colors a little bit as she got older. So it got a little bit darker as she got older too. Sweet, sweet, sweet face, very, very gentle demeanor. Um, and she was a bright shining light in the world. Um, so I just wanna check in with anybody here if they can understand that, who this belongs to. So normally I do go direct, but this is how I'm being guided to work today. So I saw that, yes. You see her? Yeah. Oh, I just understand like, um you know, they're having you open it up. So let's see if anyone yeah. can understand this. Thank you, Jeffrey, for watching on Facebook. Thank you, um, Stacia, for being here. And we're just going to wait a second to see if anyone understands this information yeah. brought forward. Yeah, I know I've got her very strongly here, too. Um, so hopefully somebody can can claim this sweet little sweetheart, too. Sounds like my friend's daughter pictures were put up today. She passed a long time ago. OK, Julie, thank you. Um, and would you understand with the picture, she would have been wearing like a cute little dress, a little bit baby dollish kind of dress. Like it's not like long down to her feet, but a little bit shorter. Um, and then her hair would have been probably a little bit shorter than mine too. So it's kind of like this with a little slight wave to it. And she would have had full cute cheeks too. And she would have been just very, very much like this, very sunshine, very radiating too. You understand all of that too. Okay, thank you, Julie. I've got chills as I say that. So thank you for stepping forward. So this is your friend's daughter who passed. Um, so she's showing herself as you would remember her like in the photos at that age. Would you please just pass the message along to her mom that she came through in this very special way today? Cause that's a gift. That's a gift that she, I wanna cry. Like, oh my God, oh, <laughs> that she did. Just tell mom that she loves her. Just tell mom, she really just came to say, I love you. That's really why she came here today and she wanted to pass that. So for everybody here, like that shows a beautiful, she was five, that was the age that I was seeing her. Yeah, I was right in that age too. Um, for everybody, you can see how the intelligence of spirit would come through to give a message knowing that she was gonna be here today so she could pass this message on to her friends. I mean, that was just gorgeous right. that they did that. So thank you for that too. She really just wants to come and just say, I love you. And I just feel like, you know, she's very much a little earth angel that was here at the time, but she brings many blessings to the family. Um, I do feel like she leaves signs from spirit too. And I do feel like mom is very aware of this too. I feel like daughter wants to come in and, and give softness to the heartache that still comes through at times, especially when we're looking at the photos. I, I want to say that too. I, I want to say little angel feathers, little pennies from heaven, even little oh. sometimes mar marbles and seed glass, things like that. So she, she would have had fun playing with little toys and things like that too. So she would be giving those signs from spirit too. And oh, she's doing so well. She's doing Aww. so well. She's just free. She's just free and in the beauty of spirit world. So I will ask you to pass that message along. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful Debbie. message. Leo, if we can just send some pink hearts to her as an acknowledgement of her. And Jennifer, what a beautiful read. Everyone's like, beautiful child. Beautiful. And Lacey's like, I love that. A mother-daughter bond never <laughs> ends, never breaks. So true. So true uh thank you all for being here thank you for sending the hearts thank you gabby thank you jennifer so let's i'll do that too i'll go in and not pick a name and i'll see if what can come through that way um we can open it organically so this we'll see where we go okay. right so it's interesting immediately i hear fred um after i hear fred i hear sam and i uh, i know katrina's in here because i heard katrina i hear the name katrina so I, and i think i saw the name katrina and i was not trying to um, pick a name from the audience, but I also hear Katrina. 
um, I do feel that there's a woman in spirit that steps forward. And this woman in spirit would have had a little bit of her hair curled, like to have it set. I feel like I have curlers. I feel like I'm the girl that would be in the robe and, you know, getting ready and have the music going. So I don't, I feel very youthful this, with this woman in spirit. And these names were brought forward, not necessarily meaning that it's their name in spirit, but just being acknowledged in the living as well, right? I feel the month of January and February very significant with this person. I also feel with this woman in spirit, as she comes closer to me, she would have either battled some form of cancer or illness. Um, I do feel that I was in my 50s is a sense that I get. Um, as an addition, I just feel like I sat down on this couch that either was like a cream color with some type of brown um, flowers or some, you know, those old school couches that would have had the suede sense to me. I feel like um, as I sit there, she shows me a cat. So I know I would have had a cat nearby. And I love newspapers and articles and I'm just looking through things. So I feel like I was very, um, I love to research, I love to study. And I feel like I always like to look for houses. So I feel like with this woman, she just makes me feel like I'm looking for um, homes, a good deal. You know, when they have like um, houses that go and they're closed and they're selling their house when they ha open up the home and they're selling their things, estate sale, like an estate yeah. sale, right? So I feel like I'm connecting to an estate sale, uh, sale with her. Um, as this woman comes forward, I feel like I have trouble stepping up the stairs also. So let's pause there and see if anybody could understand that. I know people pop in and in and out and spirit is very intelligent. So let's just give it a minute to see where that goes. What do you think, Jen? Okay, I'm looking here. I'm so sorry, Julie as well. Yeah, I know. He is okay, your nephew. If I just need to tell you he is okay too. They're letting me know, not okay. All right. He's, he's made it to where he's supposed to be, Julie. So I, I know I need to give you that at least. And I'm seeing a big red heart that comes in for you too. Um, and he will be leaving signs as well. And you will know it's him. Okay. Um, now I, hear see. Somebody, I hear somebody in here saying, it sounds like my Nana. So who right now just said, that sounds like my Nana? Because I'm hearing that um, as I say this. So right now, whoever's in here, um, their spirit is acknowledging that someone just said, sounds like my Nana. No. Well, we tried. I know. Do you want to like um, repeat yeah, a little bit of what you said? Yeah, or repeat some of what you already got? I can um, take Jody can that. take some of it. The yeah, cat called Freddie, died with cancer. Okay. Um, there we go. Okay. Thank you, Jody. Okay. So that's what I got. She was in her 50s. She would have passed of cancer. Um, I do feel Fred was the first thing I heard, and I saw the cat come immediately with her. Um, I do feel I have newspapers everywhere. I feel like um, she was loved to a good estate sale, so she was a very thrifty shopper. Um, I do feel she was very hospitable because she's like, come sit down. I come sit down here, honey. Let's talk, you know? And it was like, you know, like if I were to pet the cat, she's like, I got you. So I know like she's like, oh, you're going to be okay. So she's very loving and very supportive is a sense I get. You know, I put my glasses on and I feel like she also puts her glasses on. But I also feel it was to play bingo because all of a sudden I want to go like bingo, like the stamps and get the, 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 the marker. So I know that bingo was very important to her. As I sit here as well, and my hand just kind of has this arthritis sense, if you feel like the tightness of it, I feel her hand would have had some issues where I no longer can use my right side of the hand. I feel it was almost like locked or a little bit um, stiff. So I get the senses, I, I get this energy that comes close to me. Um, there was some struggles to even button up my shirt. And I, I know later in her journey, she wore glasses and yes, she used to play games with her phone. And I feel like it later in her journey, it was difficult for her to get dressed. And I know I couldn't button things up. Um, I do get the sense it was very emotional on her when she couldn't do things for herself because she was so independent is the sense that I get, Jody. if you would understand this. Um, there was a lot of fear of her living home alone is the sense I also get. So I do feel concerned of her safety, you know, um, maybe with her home, that's like, I got to clean it up. I got to take care of things because things she couldn't do for herself um, became an overwhelming process. And I feel 
Yes, very independent lady. Um, and so I feel like um, people had to come in, whether a, a family member or daughter, there's this connection of a, of a woman that steps forward to help her um, clean up, make sure she ate. And so at that point, the sense I get, she didn't realize it then, but she realizes it now that um, everybody was just trying to help her. So the sense that I get is that she was so independent that she did not want the care from other people, but now she understands that that care was needed. And so I leave you with her love. I know July 4th is coming in as fireworks. Um, and I just want to say my your mom helped her. Thank you. And so for me, I say sister, which makes me, or daughter, which makes me feel a very tight bond in, in that sense as well. So I say God bless and I thank you so kindly for letting me hold space for you today. That was beautiful, Debbie. Yeah, thank you. Okay, go ahead, Jennifer. All right, let's see where we're going. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, let me see her. Do, 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 do. I feel